Hey, my name is Tyra Hoffer, and I'll be leading us in warm-up today. So for today, we're going to do a nice little warm-up, get the blood flowing, get the blood pumping. We're going to start off with some marching. We're going to get them right nice and easy, get those arms swinging up high. And if you want to up the intensity, you can bring up the legs even more. Knees a little bit more to the chest. We'll do this for five more seconds. Five, three, two, one. As we keep marching, we're going to do some lateral raises. These are really going to help work in our deltoids and our shoulders. Now when we're doing these lateral raises, we're going to keep them in a straight line right to our shoulders. Because if we go above our shoulders, that'll be working more of our traps. We don't really want that right now. So we're going to transition into some bicep curls while marching in five, four, three, two, and one. There we go. Really feel that contraction in the biceps. So we can get a modification going. We can turn our wrist and we can do sort of like a hammer curl. It's five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. All right. So for right now, we're going to work on some balance work. We're going to be doing a single leg hold. And a modification we're going to be doing with that hold is a shoulder press. So we're going to take our right leg, bring it right up, get in a nice hold, work on our balance, and then we're going to press. We're going to do five presses. Let's go for four more. Three, two, and one. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to switch legs, find that nice balance. If you need to put your foot down, then that's okay. We're gonna incorporate the shoulder press movement. Five reps, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, all right. So now we're gonna move into a shoulder stretch. So when we do our shoulder stretch, we don't wanna place our arm right on our joint right here. We're gonna place it down more. Really gonna stretch that deltoid. Get that nice pull for five more seconds five four three two one and we're going to switch arms feel that nice stretch right in the deltoid right here shoulder go for five more seconds five four three two one perfect all right so now we're going to be moving to a bicep stretch and we're really going to practice on breathing as well when we're doing our stretches. Just going to take our right arm, place it right in front of us, bring it down. And we're really going to stretch our biceps. Give you another viewpoint. Really feel that right here, right in the biceps. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Switch arms. Feel that nice stretch. Go for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Now we're going to transition to a tricep stretch. We'll take our right arm, right over our head, or left. Place it right. We're going to feel a nice stretch. Right here, right in the tricep. We're gonna hold this for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Now we're gonna switch arms. Really focused on that nice stretch. Take some nice and easy deep breaths. And we're gonna stretch for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. All right, so for our next stretch, we're going to be doing a chest stretch. We'll take our right arm, we're going to place it right behind our back. Take our left, place it right back again, and we're going to interlock fingers. And we're going to pull up with our shoulders and really feel that nice stretch right in the pectoralis major, as well as our minor. And we're going to hold this for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one, perfect. 
All right, so for our next movement, we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing a supinated, which means our arms, our arms, our hands are gonna be placed out like this. We're gonna do a supinated bend over row. So with these, we're gonna get a slight bend in the knees. We're gonna stick our glutes out, bending at the hips. We're gonna get that nice parallel straight back. We're gonna take our arms and we're going to row with our elbows, with our back, with our lats. And we're really gonna focus on getting that engagement in our back. We'll go nice and easy. There we go. We'll go for five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Perfect. All right. And then we're going to stay in this position and we're going to be doing some tricep kickbacks. We're really working our triceps. So we take our arms. And we're going to place them right up here. We're going to get a 90 degree angle and we're just going to contract our triceps and kick straight back. We'll go for five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. All right. So now we're going to be doing an adductor stretch. So we're going to be doing a side lunge. We're going to get in a side lunge position. We're really going to get a nice stretch right in our adductor. We're going to hold this for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're going to switch sides for that nice stretch right in our adductors. Go for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. All right, so for our next movement, we're going to be doing calf raises. And on these, we're really going to be working on our mind-muscle connection. We're really going to be working on getting that full squeeze and contraction in our calves. So we're going to go up. Feel that nice squeeze. Straight back down. We're going to go right back up. And if you want to get another modification, higher intensity, you can go off the edge of a mat or any higher surface. And that's really going to place more emphasis on your calves as well as your soleus. Get that nice squeeze. We'll go for five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. All right. So for our next exercise, we're going to be doing some squats. But we're going to modify these with some pause squats to really engage our hip flexors, our quads, and our glutes. So we're going to get in a bit of a little over shoulder width position. And we're going to break with our knees and our hips at the exact same time and get a nice parallel squat. If you need to lower the intensity with these, you can do a 45 degree angle squat. You don't have to go all the way parallel. Like this position is fine. But for a little other population, we're going to go to a full 90 degree parallel squat and we're going to pause. And we're really going to focus on getting our glutes warmed as well as our hip flexors and quads. We're going to hold this for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. All right. So now we're going to be moving on to the mat, onto our knees in a lunge position. We're going to be stretching our hip flexors right here. And so we're, with this, we'll be doing an anterior pelvic tilt. That's really going to emphasize more strain on the hip flexor and feel a nice stretch. So what do I mean by that? I'll show you is with our pelvis, we're going to rotate it up and you're really going to feel a nice stretch right in your hip flexor and your ASOS. We're going to hold this for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. We're going to switch sides. We're going to keep our back straight. We're going to do that anterior tilt. Really feel that hip flexor. For that nice stretch, I'm going to take good breaths. We'll hold for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, 
one perfect all right so now we're going to be moving on to knees on the mat again and we're going to be doing some push-ups so i'm going to start it off with the knees on the push-ups but if another modification you'd like to do is you can bring for a higher intensity your legs all the way back but i'll show you how to do them on the knees because we're just warming up so we're gonna go down really get that scapular retraction in your back and these really are going to help work our pectoralis major as well as our deltoids and our triceps we'll go for five more five four three two and one nice so our next movement on our knees we're going to be working some bird dogs these are really going to help work our erector spinae as well as our rectus abdominals and as well as our hips as well. So we're going to take our left arm, we're going to bring it up, take our right leg, kick it straight back in a nice straight line. And we're just going to hold and we're going to really engage our core and this is really going to help with stability. So we'll hold for five more seconds and then we'll switch positions. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. So now we're going to switch sides. Another tip that you can do is you can kick your foot straight up a little, and it's really going to place some more emphasis on the glutes. We'll do five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. All right, so still in this knees position, bend over. We're gonna be doing some some fire hydrants. So what we might do, we're gonna take our knees and our right leg. We're going to engage our core and we're going to move our knees straight to the right in a 90 degree angle. We're really gonna feel these in our glutes, especially in our glute medius. We'll go for five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. We're going to switch sides. We'll go for five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. All right, so for right now, we're gonna move into a back stretch. We're really gonna be working our lats, really focusing on stretching the lat. So with our right arm, we're gonna place it a little outside shoulder length, shoulder width. Let's take our left arm, and we're gonna place it right underneath, and we're gonna feel a nice stretch right in the back. I like the forearm. You're gonna really feel this stretch. This stretch is great for your lats. Hold for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna switch sides. We're gonna hold for five more seconds. Remember to breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. All right. So now we're gonna move into a downward dog stretch and this is really gonna help stretch our hamstrings as well as our calves. So in this position right here, we're going to stick our glutes straight up to the sky. And you're really going to feel that nice stretch right in our calves. And if you want, you can bring your feet in closer to your body. And that's going to help stretch your hamstrings more. But if you need a lower modification, you can bend your knees. We're going to hold this for five more seconds. And then we're going to transition to a cobra stretch. Five four, three, two, one. We're gonna move right down. Nice flow and transition. And it's gonna help stretch our rectus abdominis as well as our rectus spinae, our lower back. We're gonna hold this for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. All right. So for next exercise we're gonna do 
is we are going to lay on our side and we are going to work our adductors. We're going to place our right leg, place it right over our left. And our left leg is just going to move straight up. We're going to do these five times for five reps. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. We're going to switch sides. Nice. We're going to get that nice abductor working. Really focus on getting our leg up. Go for five more reps. Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. All right, in this position, we're going to lay our feet together and we're going to be doing some abductor work. So we're going to be laying down on the sides and we're going to move our legs straight up. That's really going to help work our glutes as well as our abductors. Nice and easy. Go for five more reps. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Perfect. We're going to switch. right leg and we're going to be bending it and then we're going to take our left and we're going to place it right over and with our backs we're going to want to get a straight line and we're really going to focus on feeling the glute stretch on our gluteus minor and if you want to emphasize the stretch more you can push a little pressure on your bent knee we're going to hold this for five more seconds Five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to switch. Really make sure to feel that stretch. Go for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. All right. So now we're going to work on our obliques, and we're going to do some Russian twists. So in this position again, we're going to slightly bend the knees and we're going to lift them up. But if you want to lower the modification, you can bring them down. But the higher modification is going to bring them up in intensity. So we're really going to focus on engaging our core. We're going to take our arms and we're going to go left to right. And these are really going to help work our obliques. Really feel these in our core and our obliques. We'll go for five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. All right. So now to finish this off our warm up, we're going to get back up and we're going to do some leg curls. Really help work our hamstrings. We're focused right on the hamstrings. Nice contraction. We're going to work the biceps in our hamstrings, the bicep femoris. Feel that nice squeeze. Go for five more. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, and now we're gonna finish off with some marching. Just get some more blood flowing throughout our whole body. And that's gonna finish our warm-up for today. So we'll go for five more seconds of marching. Five, four, three, two, and one. Thank you.